Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Dito, sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at lagi may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Tupe. Tupe is a proud waray hailing from Northern Samar. He is currently a fourth year student of UP Diliman studying secondary education specializing in social studies. He loves watching Marvel movies and K-dramas and he's passionate about memes and engaging in discussions about politics and social issues. Next, we have Louie. Louie is a second year student in UP Diliman and her love for animals is as big as the sun. She's also a K-pop fan standing groups such as Shine and BTS. And next, we have Kurt. Kurt is a BS Agricultural Biotechnology student from the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. He likes to write world-building projects, create small modifications for niche video games, hike to scenic locations, and explore ruined structures. He wishes to do voice acting for fun someday. And finally, we have Leah. Leah is a freelance theater, film, and TV actress with a foundation in singing, acting, and dance. Her most recent projects include Kung Paano Nanalo Sa Carrera Si Rosang Taba. She enjoys running, golfing, and tennis. A passionate art student aiming to bring heart to her craft, Leah is always on the ball facing challenges head-on with gusto. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santelian, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Get ready to buzz in. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. At an average depth of about 4,000 meters, what is the deepest ocean in the world? Kurt. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What small South American river fish, whose name literally means biting fish? Kurt. Piranha. Let me proceed. Has sharp teeth and attacks and eats animals. You said piranha. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. Which city in Cavite is named after Maximo Inocencio and 12 other patriots who were executed by the Spaniards in 1896? Dia? Bacoor. Bacoor is wrong. Kurt? Trece Martires. Trece Martires is correct. Okay, check. Cavite na ka, di ba? I'm from Bacoor, actually. Okay. Question number four. In mental math, what number is one half the sum of one half and one fourth? The correct answer is three eighths. Question number five. What is the title of the song of Ariana Grande that mentions the names Sean, Ricky, Pete, and Malcolm? Louis. Thank you, next. Thank you, next is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. In an orchestra, what musical instrument is between a violin and a cello? Leah. Trumpets. Trumpets is wrong. Louis. Viola. Viola is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. In what city can you find the Basilica Minore del Santo Nino, Leah? Bulacan. That is wrong. Let me proceed. Tupe. Tondo. Tondo is wrong. Let me proceed. Which was founded in 1565 by Fray Andres de Urdaneta? Kurt. Cebu City. C 
Cebu City or Cebu is correct. A check. Question number eight. The Ironman is a racing event that is more than 226 kilometers long in what Olympic sport? Leah. Marathon. Marathon is wrong. Leah. Ah, sorry, that Louis. Triathlon. Triathlon is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. With 250,000 visitors each year, the monolith Ayers Rock or Uluru is one of the most popular attractions of what country? Kurt? Australia. Australia is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What term that literally means water cultivation refers to the propagation of plants and animals? Kurt? Uh, aquaculture. Let me proceed. Of plants and animals in the sea or fresh water for commercial purposes. You said aquaculture. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What legal term for an excuse is the title of the 2024 hit song of Ella Henderson that sampled Julio's classic hit song, Gangsta Paradise? Kurt. Alibi. Alibi is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. What common color is associated with azure in heraldry? Kurt. Blue. Blue? Or as in Azul in Spanish is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number one. So after that round, let's do a scores recap. In the lead, si Kurt with 80 points, followed by Louie with 20 points, Leah with 10 points, and Tupe, pwede pang humabol sa masusunod the rounds. Two more rounds to go. And in the end, we will reveal our weekly winner. Itutuloy ang competition sa pagbabalik ng Okay, check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Kurt is in the lead with 80 points, followed by Louie with 20 points, Leah with 10 points, and Tupe na habol sa masusunod na round. And now it's time for round 2, contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Good luck. Let's begin. This is round 2. Question number one. What country said that it had experienced the longest heat wave ever as temperatures hit India? India. Let me proceed. Hit nearly 50 degrees in Delhi in May 2024. You said India. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. Which American rapper already has two U.S. number one hits during the first half of 2024, Leah? Kendrick Lamar. The songs are Like That and Not Like Us. Kendrick Lamar is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What do you call the popular Finnish steam bath in which the steam... Kurt? Sauna. We proceed. Is provided by water thrown on hot stones. Sauna is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Who served as Vice President of the Philippines during the presidency of Noynoy Aquino? Leah. Lenny Robredo. That is strong. From 2010 to 2016, Tupe. Uh, Binay. Binay is correct. That's Jejomar Jojo Binay. Okay, check. Question number five. He is the most nominated living director in 2024 in Academy Awards history but has won only once. Who is this director who won for The Departed but was also nominated to Pe? Christopher Nolan. That's wrong. Let me proceed. But was also nominated for Goodfellas and Gangs of New York, among others. Skirt. Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What Irish city lends its name to a humorous five-line poem? Leah. Dublin. Dublin is wrong. Kurt. Limerick. Let me proceed with a rhyme scheme of A-A-B-B-A. -B -B -A. Limerick is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. In the classification of animals and other living things, what follows phylum, class, and order? Kurt. Family. Family is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which Albanian-born nun 
won the Nobel Kurt. Mother Teresa. And we proceed, won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and became a saint in 2016. Mother Teresa or Saint Teresa is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Dia de los Muertos is a mix of Spanish tradition and Aztec culture that is celebrated on November 1 and 2 in what country? Kurt. Mexico. Mexico is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What common synthetic fabric got its name from the two cities of New York and London? Dia. Cashmere. Cashmere is wrong. Kupe. Polymer. Polymer is wrong. Kurt. Nylon. Nylon is correct. Okay, check. Okay. So, by the way, nylon kasi NY is New York and yeah. Don is London. Ah. Now we know. Okay. Question number 11. In June 2024, the Malaysian government demolished the houses of an ethnic group of people in the sea because of security reasons. What is the name of the ethnic group of these people who live in houses on the sea? Kurt. Bajau. Bajau is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. What 2018 film starring Emily Blunt about blind aliens with an acute sense, Leah. Quiet place. The quiet place. You said the quiet place. Yeah. That is wrong. Kurt. A quiet place. Let me proceed. Acute sense of hearing has a 2024 spin-off prequel. A quiet place. A quiet place is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. So after that round, let's do a scores recap. Kurt is in the lead with 260 points, followed by Louie with 20 points, Leah with 10 points, ito pe, pwede pang humabol sa susunod nating round. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next, here on K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. Points recap po na tayo. Kurt is in the lead with 260 points. Followed by Louis with 20 points. Leah with 10 points. Ito pe, hahabol pa sa susunod nating mga rounds. Dahil nga, paparating na ang ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating panel of experts, magagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15 point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. This slightly radioactive element was widely used in the past in building materials, but its use has declined due to being actually a radioactive element. Dia. Lead. Male. Let me finish. What element is this? A. Radium. B. Plutonium. C. Thorium. D. Uranium. Or E. Polonium. A radium. Male. B uranium. Mali din. E polonium. Mali pa din. <laughs> Basta tama, um siya, di ba? Favorite ko na Marvel character. Thorium. This is a weekly radioactive light silver metal. Thank you, Prof. Neil. All of the following items are third-party mediators in international initiatives to resolve the Bangsamoro conflict since the 1970s, except for one. A. Indonesia B. Libya C. Malaysia D. Organization of Islamic Cooperation E. Pakistan B. Libya. Male.
isang bansa ito sa South Asia. Ang tamang sagot ay letter E, Pakistan. Prof. Sophie, next question. It's kind of related, okay, Sir Neil. Islamic art is well known for its intricate calligra calligraphic, geometric, and abstract floral patterns. While representations of human figures have occurred at various times throughout its history, some interpretations of Islam prohibit the depiction of human figures. In religious art, what is this prohibition called? A. An iconism B. Iconography C. Idolatry D. Graven images E. Anthropomorphism A. An iconism A. An iconism is correct. Um, etymologically, you can see it's without icons. No? Okay, check. Thank you. And now we're off to our second round, Prof. Marian. We have various instruments and units to measure speed. A knot is a unit of speed used for which of the following? A. Race cars B. Ship C. Sound waves D. Light waves or E. Wind Wind Male. Ship. A knot is a unit of speed equal to one nautical mile per hour or 1.85 kilometers per hour. This unit is convenient when navigating an aircraft or a ship since it's closely related to a longitude and latitude. So, ship, K check. Next question from Prof. Neil. Only in the Philippines could a leader like Ferdinand Marcos, who pillaged his country over 20 years, still be considered for a national burial? Are the words of who's Southeast Asian leader? A. Ahmed Sukarno B. Hun Sen C. Lee Kuan Yew D. Mahathir Muhammad C. Lee Kuan Yew Okay, tamang sagot. Letter C. Lee Kuan Yew Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Sophie? The word meme is defined as an amusing or interesting item, such as a captioned picture or a video, or a genre of items that is spread widely online, especially through social media. However, the word was coined in 1976, long before social media was invented, to mean a unit of cultural transmission. Who first came up with the word meme? Richard Dawkins. Um, I'll still go through the options, okay? A. Isaac Newton B. Alexander Graham Bell C. Richard Dawkins D. Albert Einstein E. Isaac Asimov um, The correct answer is Richard Dawkins. Okay, check. Thank you. Now we're off to our third Round, Prof. Marian, go ahead. Ito pabilisan, masirang matibay. Okay. If two thirds of my book collection are math books, and I have one hundred math books, how many books do I have in total? One hundred and fifty. Ombilas, na pabilisan, di ba? Two thirds of X should be one hundred. So, X is 150. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil? This event forced the Americans to withdraw from two of their largest military facilities in the Philippines, Subic Naval Base and Clark Airfield in the early 1990s. A. Brewing conflict between Manila and Washington. B. Eruption of Pinatubo Volcano B. Eruption of Pinatubo Volcano Mali C. Rejection of the Philippine Senate on the proposed treaty to retain American bases C. The proposed um, 
the proposed set. Pwede ko ba? Uh, hindi, hindi niya na-kompleto. Yeah, so, hindi na-kompleto yung sagot. Pero nabanggit yung letra, pero hindi kompleto yung sagot. Okay. C. Rejection of the Philippine Senate on the proposed treaty to, re- to retain American bases. B. Sexual yeah. harassment. C. The proposed rejection of the Senate to... <laughs> okay, incomplete. So, hindi rin tatanggapin yung sagot ni Lia. B. Sexual harassment issue involving American u- uniform personnel. E. 1991 earthquake that devastated several parts of Central Luzon. C. Rejection of the Philippine Senate on the proposed treaty to retain American bases. Yeah, <laughs> naghintay. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> so, ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Rejection of the Philippine Senate on the proposed treaty to retain American bases. K-check. Kasi pag nakuha pa yan, nahulaan na saktong-sakto, mahusay talaga. Hindi <laughs> naman kailangan sakto, pero dapat nandun yung esensya ng keywords. Ha? Thank you. Prof. Sophie, your question please. Okay. Tempera paint is traditionally made by mixing pigment with what food item? A. Milk B. Eggs C. Fruit juice D. Flour E. Cornstarch B. Eggs Um, yes, um, eggs is correct to be specific, no egg whites, eh, egg yolks, I mean, no? it's mixed with pigment. Okay, check. So very quick, before we go to our last round, Kurt is in the lead with 335 points, followed by Louie with 65 points, Leah with negative 5, and Tupe with negative 30. Last round with 90 points. Prof. Marian. Para tuloy ang dali ng question ko, paunahan uli, to fathom, means to understand or comprehend but it's also a unit of measure of which of the following a speed b light c frequency d depth or e pressure d depth alam mo yun nulaan mo lang uh, alam mo. Alam niya. Okay. A fathom is 1.83 meters used to measure depth of water. Okay, check. Sir, need your last question, please. Hezbollah is an Iran-backed Islamist group found in what Middle Eastern or West Asian country? Lebanon. Okay. Pwedeng tapusin ko lang yung choices. A. Iraq. B. Jordan, C. Lebanon, D. Syria, E. Yemen. Tamang sagot ay letter C. Lebanon, K. Check. Thank you so much. So now we're off to our last question. And kapag masagot ni Kurt to, may higitan niya pa yung record niya. Sarili mong record of all time which is 410. 410. No pressure. <laughs> Kalaba mo lang sarili mo dito. <laughs> Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Actually, ako ano ba pressure eh. <laughs> Ikaw po ulit. <laughs> okay. I think unahan din naman to eh. The 2017 musical Ang Larawan starred in by Joanna Ampil and Rachel Alejandro as the Marasigan sisters was based on the play A Portrait of the Artist as Filipino by which national artist? A. Amado V. Hernandez B. Rolando Tinio C. Nick Joaquin D. Wilfrido Maria Guerrero E. Ryan Kayabiab C. Nick Joaquin <laughs> Nick Joaquin is correct! Okay, check! <laughs> And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Kurt, our K-Check Weekly winner with another record-breaking final score of 425 points. Congratulations again. 
Maraming salamat din sa ating mga contestants, Tupe, Louie, and Lia. Palakpakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Prof Professor Neil, and Professor Sophia. Once again, I'm Jules Giang. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check.